Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. The second rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. Hello, everybody. Um, I was playing a bit of Quake Live yesterday and realized a lot of the old maps that I used to play on, including some of my own, aren't on Quake Live. I thought I'd do a quick video on how to um, convert Quake 3 maps to Quake Live. And even if you're creating a Quake, Quake Live map, you can create it in GTK Radiant, which is the old map builder. Then this will explain how you convert it to um, Quake Live, if that's something you need. Um, so, without further ado, I'll try and explain it as quickly as I can. So the first way to the first thing you need to do is well not the first thing you need to do but the first thing I'll explain is um, so I will take a Quake Live map a Quake Free map sorry from my Quake Free folder to my base key free I've already got it on my desktop so I won't bother carrying it we are relaxed I'll copy it out I'll copy out Fubs one and the first thing we need to do I'll uh, add some links in the description but you'll need to download. GTK Radiant 1.6.6 and what you will need that for is within that folder once you download it will be in a RAW or a zip you just unpack it once you unpack it you'll, you'll have access to the Q3 map 2 .exe, which is one of the other files that come with it um, and that allows us to convert it with a batch file these are batch files that I've already created but I'll explain how to create them um, so what we're trying to do is, if we go into the .pk3 file from the Quake 3 base Q3 folder, within that, you can open it with WinRAR or 7-zip, or maybe even WinZip, I think WinZip is the same as 7-zip, I'm not sure. But inside that you've got um, textures, sounds, map, this is where the BSP is, we'll drag that out onto the desktop. Um, we also need the level shot. Drag that onto the desktop. This is a very simple map because I'm just making a simple, quick tutorial. Um, so what we need to do is we need to convert that Quake 3 .bsp, that's Quake 3 map, to a Quake Live map. Uh, because they're a different version, protocol, whatever, it won't work straight away. So what we do is we drag the BSP into the GTK Radiant folder. We'll just drag it in there, and in that folder we'll create our I have created a batch file. Now the way to create a batch file is this, you go create new text document. Within that text document we will um, create the command. Just copy this. Rather than type it away again. So we want q3map2.exe minus game quake free minus convert format into quake live. And then at the end here, it's JGM2, my brother's map that I converted. So in this, we want to convert, in this instance, we're converting, um, we're converting fob1.bsp, so fob1. And then we'll click save. And then if we save that now, it just saves it as a, as a text document, which doesn't do anything. But if we, if we go edit and then save, file save, and then File save as sorry, and then we put dot dot bat on the end. And click save. What that does, what that does then, yes, is it then creates a dot bat. File. Yeah, it creates a dot bat file. I wonder where he put it then. It's down here. <laughs> so in that folder, in that dot bat, sorry. That actually, hang on a minute, did that actually save it? Well, save as dot text. <coughs> yeah. I wonder why it's not. Anyway, so, yeah. Sorry about that. So, anyway, so we'll edit this. We'll edit this, we've already set it up. So, what we'll do is we'll copy this. Rename it, actually, just so we don't get confused. So, this is convert. BSP converter one. I've already done this, but I'm just trying to explain how to do it really badly. Sorry. And then we'll just drag that into there. So basically, that is going to that batch file when we click on it is going to find the fob one BSP and it's going to convert it. Um, where did it 
go. Yes, there it is. So, right, we'll edit that and we'll put pause on the end so we know what it does. We'll put pause at the end. And then we'll double click that. And that's telling us that it's loaded our BSP and it's wrote a new one. There we go. Click anything to continue. Right, close that. And we're in here somewhere. See, that's our old one. That's the original. And that's the new one. So we'll delete the old one. Drag out the original. And then to save confusion, we will rename that to QL. And then, because we'll need a screenshot for Quake Live, we'll also we'll also change rename that to underscore QL. Right. Don't need that now. Delete that. But I've got I've got the one that I normally. Um, right now, what we're going to do? So I've already done this, but I explain how. So we've created two new files, right? We'll delete that, and we'll rename this. This is the original .pk3. We'll, un we'll rename that underscore QL as well. And then within that, um, we've got a maps folder. We'll drag the map folder in. I'd normally delete, but I'm not going to in this instance. We'll click store. We don't want any compression. OK. Let's put it into the fault. It's put it into the PK3 folder. And we'll delete the original. We don't need the original anymore. We'll go to the same for the level shot. We'll drag that in. We'll go store. We'll go OK. And we'll delete the original. So the only fold the only files we should have in there now is the ones that we've edited. Textures can stay the same. So obviously it's the same textures. Um Right, I've left those out because we need those when we start uploading the, the, the maps to... No, we don't need that actually. We don't, we'll, we'll keep the level shot for when we start uploading the map file to, to Steam, Steam's Workshop. So, <clears throat> here we go. Um, what will we need next? Let's... let's um, So I'll show you where the PK freeze need to go now. So what you'll need to do is you go, if you go to this. I'll, I'll give you a link in the description. You go there, and you download the Steam Steam command file. Save that, and then you unpack it. I've got mine on the C drive, and Steam command. And within Steam command, I've got another folder called Workshop Items, and then my maps. And in this folder, it comes empty. You create a content folder. So this is where you put your maps. Obviously, mine's already there, so I'm not going to drag it over the top of it. Um, I was just making a new one just to explain how you do it. And so in my content folder, I've got my map, all the bits and bobs inside it, and then one folder up from that. I've got a folder where I'm a level shot to go screenshot, whatever you want to call them, go replace that. Right, the next thing is, um, within Steam Command, so Steam Command, which is something else on top of this, um, Steam Command needs a file called a VDF file, and what the VDF file does is it explains to Steam Command um, information about the file, so it tells you where it, what direct, where, where the directory is that it's in, um, its file name, what game it's for, um, and that's all, that's all jazz. So, if, for example, if I go into the fub1 underscore QL, I've created this again. You create this as a text document, and then you would read. So, I'll, I'll, I'll make a fresh one just to explain it. So, I won't make a completely fresh one. I'll copy stuff out of this PDF file. Copy. So, we go into here. So, within this video file, so app ID is for, for Quake Live. Each each game on that you can upload content for will have its own app ID. Um, publish field ID will be zero. Um, that will be you put that in as zero originally, um, and then when you've uploaded a file, Steam Command will give this a file ID, so that if you ever edit that file in the future, it will know which file that it's that it's connected to. Content folder explains to Steam is, is just the file directory. So for in mine is C double dot blah 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 Steam command blah um, content. That's where my maps are. Then preview file is telling it where my screenshots are. Um, title, that's pretty self-explanatory. Title of the title of the, the 
the level map, gun, whatever, skin. Um, description, obviously that's self-explanatory as well. And change note is it just can work converted to Quake Live. Great. So once you've created that, all you do again is the same as the batch file, except this time when you click save as, you'll be saving it as a, so it'll be, in this instance, it'll be fub1 underscore ql, and then it'll be vdf, and then save. And that'll create a vdf file on the desktop, which is exactly what we wrote, except it's in a vdf format now. Delete that, because we've got one over here. So that's that done. So we've set up a directory. We've installed, we've we've unpacked Steam command. We've put it in, we've put it on the C drive. We've set up a directory called workshop items backslash my maps, and in that it's got a content folder with our maps in, and then back a folder we've got our video files and our level shots or screenshots for for the workshop on Steam. So when people view your view your content on, on the workshop, they can see a picture of the map. Um, I know that's not a very good picture of a map, but I was just rushing. Um, so yeah, so the next thing is, um, we will need to, I'll explain quickly, or briefly, how we now use Steam command to upload maps. Now, I can't do it properly because I would have to give you my Steam username and password, but I'll, I'll try and explain how you do it. And I'll explain how you use a batch file to do it as well. In fact, the, um... The website will give you a link to explains it, but I'll, sh I'll show you anyway. Um, it also explains how to create VDF files and so on and so forth. What we'll do is, now there's two ways of doing this. You can either use uh, a batch file, which is how, which is probably be the most simplistic way of doing it. Um, again, you create a text document, so your text document, and in that text document you would you would copy this command um, the, the only problem with this is if you don't have it in the same directory as 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 this suggests or as I've got it then obviously this would this would vary if you had it on e double dot or f double dot or you had it wherever you'd have to adjust that that directory to wherever and then you've got plus login and then you would change the login name to uh, Dave, and then password would be password. No, that, that confuses some people because they think they put password and then and then they put password after it. But no, that is your password. So let's just for 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 an example, let's just put eight 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 one. That's your password, right? So we'll click File, Save As, and then we'll click, we'll save that as uh, login steam command dot bat. Already done one, but I'll save it anyway. Remember, it's going to have dot bat on the end. So we'll save that, delete that, and that will give us this. So we've now got a batch file. If I now, if I double click on that cog file. What that will do is it will launch Steam command and then it will try and log in. Obviously, because that isn't a real username and password, it's not going to log in, but it would do if it was real, if it was correct. So we'll close that. <clears throat> Another thing you can do to the end of this, is you can click pause, or you can type pause so that, it's, so that it pauses after it's done a command, so you can tell whether it's actually done what you've asked it to do. Because sometimes... If it gets an error it'll just close and you won't know if it's you know if it's it, it, if it's done it or not if it's completed successfully so um, the next one is how to upload files so again you can do this with command line you don't have to um, but it's in here so basically we'll just copy this now again it very it's very dependent on where you've got your where you've got your directory so Seedable.steam command, steam command.exe, login, big dave, password is, again, we've just said this isn't actually the word password, you know, 881, whatever your password is. And then the command is plus workshop underscore build underscore item and then seedable dot blah 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 blah. Now, this is the bit that you have to change. So if you change a, so in this instance, we're uploading fub1 underscore ql. And we're telling steam command near this batch file that the file that we're uploading is in this directory so my maps 
so we're telling it that so if you click here click on this address bar it'll highlight it'll highlight the actual address so what you can do is just copy that um, so it's cw dot um, steam command workshop items my map and then backslash and then we're pointing to the VDF file because the VDF file is telling steam command where to get the file from telling where it is all the particulars and that's it that's basically all you need to do the only other thing you might have to do is if you if you use steam guard you might have to stick your steam guard key here so you know when you log in on different browsers or different computers sometimes well this will this this might set steam to think that you know you log into another computer or something even if it's the same system if you're logging in a different way you're logging in through steam command so you might have to put in your steam guard key which would be whatever it is you know one two three four five there um you'd, you'd only have to stick it in once i don't suppose it really matters but yeah if it if it asks for it that's that's where you need to stick it um and we'll stick pause we'll stick pause at the end just to see if it's completed correctly it would be nice if i could show you how to complete the command um but obviously without putting my real username and password in there's not really a way i can do that um so i hope this is useful for someone anyway um We'll bring some, uh, although Quake Live is not very populated now, it's still still pretty cool to be able to do this, I suppose. And um, it probably carries over to other games as well. This is, I mean, uh, this is how you would upload stuff to to, to to Workshop for other Steam games, I suppose. Anything that, that allows mods or you know, map design and that sort of thing. So it's, it's fairly useful. I'm sure it's already been done before, but, you know, I upload videos to um, YouTube about Quake and I... I like I said I was playing Quake Live yesterday, and I just realised there wasn't there wasn't some of the maps that I was you know that I that I used to play. So I thought I'd um, upload them, and then when I when I when I figured out how to upload them myself, I thought, well, why not share it? You know, um, like I said, I'll uh, I'll paste the link in the description for the tutorial that Yakumo created on how to do this. So big thanks to Yakumo for doing that. He continues to um, support the community in, in Quake and has done for a long time he's now supporting um, the community in Quake Champions not sure how long that's going to last Quake Champions I mean but you know, he's, it's pretty good that he it takes it takes time out to uh, help other people he's a really cool guy um, so hope this helps somebody and uh, thanks for watching hopefully it wasn't too boring <laughs>